these kids on the bus. So what you're going to see is uh, Colasso coming to the bus, getting on the bus. You'll hear him giving instructions and threats to the bus driver. You'll be able to see the, the bus driver on how he handled it. Then you'll see Colasso drive off in the bus, and then you'll see him uh, get out of the bus. This is his picture. That is just a few seconds of the six minutes that these kids and the bus driver uh, were very traumatized and, and, and feared their life. Um, they were not physically hurt, but you can just imagine um, how they feel and what they're going to have to live with. Uh, we've got the school district with us, uh, Baron Davis, the superintendent, the chairman of the school board. Um, they've worked hand in hand with us. Uh, I applaud them for the training that they give the, the bus drivers and support that they've given the bus driver and also the, the kids and the parents as a result of what happened this morning. This is didn't end this morning. It will continue for quite some time. Uh, everybody involved in this will, will need counseling and lots of support. But again, you, know, you had a bad situation, but you had some good stuff. And the good stuff was the bus driver and the kids, the response from the community, and a response for law enforcement to make sure that um, we put a successful end to this. All right, there you hear Sheriff Leon Lott talking about today's unbelievable experience. Talking